Hi there, my name is Nils with Learn to DIY, and in this video, we're going to be 3D printing and then bulletproofing a full Stormtrooper armor suit. And then we're going to fill it full of lead. So several months ago, a buddy of mine reached out and he has a pretty cool job. He has some pretty cool stuff that's available to him. What he does is he makes armored cars. He does bulletproofing and he does a lot of other cool stuff like smoke screens and electrified door handles and all kinds of super cool stuff. So he said, let's do something fun. Let's build something together. Let's make something happen. So we brainstormed for a while, couldn't think of what to do, wanted to do something DIY, maybe get some 3D printing involved. And we ended up saying, let's do a bulletproof stormtrooper. Nobody's ever done this before. Let's try this out and see how it goes. So with that, I started printing. Now the printing process for this was a pain in the butt, honestly, it took a long time. Now I use several different printers when making this suit. So I have a couple of printers by FlashForge. I have the FlashForge Guider 2S, as well as the FlashForge Adventurer. And then I also use my AlphaWise printers, the U20 and U20 Plus. If you wanna learn more about how the build went, all of the pieces and parts that were used, the models that I chose, as well as things like how do you put all the different pieces together, um, how do you prime it, finish it, assemble, all that kind of stuff. I made a whole separate video specifically on the build of this. And you can click on the link in the top right corner here to see that. I'm just gonna cover in this video a little bit about the basics of what we did. So altogether there are 19 pieces involved in this suit. So you've got from head to toe, the entire thing, 19 pieces and it worked out really well. I had to do some shopping for the right shoes or boots that you can wear with it, uh, purchased a black outfit to wear underneath, and all in all, I thought it came out fairly authentic. It looks pretty good. It is definitely not true to the screen edition of the Stormtrooper outfits, um, but not bad for 3D printing. So we take the suit up to Armor Max, and they go through this process basically where layer by layer they apply this material, and you put so many layers on there, and it actually can stop handgun bullets, 9mm bullets and even 357 Magnum bullets, but it's fascinating to see what happens when you actually shoot this thing. So we got the process done. We ended up bulletproofing three parts. And so we did the helmet, we did the back plate, and we did the right calf. So those are the three parts. The cool thing is, you can't tell. When you're looking at it, unless you see the inside of it or you see a profile of it where you can see the thickness, you really can't tell that it's actually been bulletproofed. It looks like the right calf looks just like the left calf from the outside, which is pretty sweet. So then comes the day to actually shoot this thing. Now what you're gonna see at the shooting range here is a few of us guys in the range. We've got several nine millimeter handguns. We've got a 357 Magnum and we've got a high speed camera. So this was a lot of fun to take a look. Let's see how this thing holds up. Okay, so here we are in the actual shooting range. I'm pretty excited. I've got the suit. We're bulletproof ready here. We've got a bunch of handguns and we're gonna try this thing out. So I'm gonna be putting this thing on. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start with the back piece and I wanna get shot in the back first. Let's try that out. That makes me feel, I, I just don't wanna see it. So I'm gonna put this helmet on and I'll turn around and lean up against here and you guys can have at it with the handguns. That didn't even hurt a bit. All right, so obviously I'm not in the suit. I'm not gonna do that, not taking that risk. Uh, but let's go see what happened up here. All right, so you hit two basically in the same spot there. And one, two, man, you made a nice box. So back here, Oh yeah, so you can feel where it kind of, it pushed, it bulged basically the uh, fabric. In fact, even right here, I can see it start to yeah, separate the, the, the layers. Side. Yep, very cool. So we gave it a good shaking with those uh, altogether six rounds, but everything seems to be intact here. So let's have some fun with this. 
Uh, let's shoot the helmet. Let's shoot one of the legs and see how it goes. Let's see if we can uh, make a mess of this thing. All right, so for this part, let's put both you and the gun in blaster mode. You're going to be a stormtrooper and just aim at that stormtrooper just like you were one. Go ahead. Let's say you know how to shoot just like a stormtrooper. Well done. Now let's actually see if you can just shoot him in the face. So, we've shot off the helmet, the bulletproof part. We did not bulletproof that chest plate right there. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot that. We'll see the difference and see what it does. So here we are. We gave it some good shots here. Uh, we pretty much destroyed the whole mask and we even got inside and uh, Han, the name of our mannequin here, he's, he's got a bit of a headache, I'm sure. So we actually did some shots here on the unprotected chest plate to see what that looks like. And then we got the leg, which is also bulletproofed. And it got a bunch of awesome shots on there. Let's take this helmet off. And obviously we got him in the eyes. I think you're about to see a pretty bad head because we shot him through the eye, eye holes. And, oh, no, the head's in here. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> All right. That's what happens when you shoot the eyes. So that's not a good thing to do. What's fascinating here is the only thing that you're seeing though is the, the holes that went all the way through from the front, right through the eye holes. The rest of his head is all right. And so let's look at, if we get rid of that stuff in there, you can see inside, that is crazy. This got shot multiple times in here and it's all intact, all of it, wow. This one puckered out a little bit here. Looks like there was a shot that kind of went stray right here. And, but even that, the hole inside is intact still. That's wild. So it did its job. Yeah, his head got smacked against the back board here. Got a chip out there, but all in all, and even the one that went all the way through his head is probably in here somewhere and stopped here because it de definitely didn't go through the back. And let's take a look here at the, the chest. This is what happens when there's no protection. You got holes all through it. So yeah, this guy's this guy's seen better days. Pretty cool though to see. Yep, got one in the neck there from right here. So, so that's what happens when you build a DIY 3D printed bulletproof stormtrooper armor suit and shoot the heck out of it. Now, have you been watching The Mandalorian? If you're a Star Wars fan, the answer is probably yes. We have a little goal in mind here, but we decided that if we can get this video to get 50,000 likes, then we are gonna do a full Mandalorian bulletproof armor suit. So we'll use the Beskar steel models that are available and we'll print out the whole thing, get it all painted and looking awesome. Hopefully even do the cape and the leather and all that fun stuff too. And we'll go take it to a shooting range and shoot it up and have a bulletproof Mandalorian suit. So if you want to see that happen as much as I do, hit that like button below and let's see if we can get to 50,000 likes. Feel free to share this on social media or wherever you want to. Let's get to that goal and let's do a bulletproof Mandalorian. So one thing I wanted to show you now that the shoot is over and I've had a chance to look at the helmet a little bit more closely, this is pretty cool. Let's put it to the real test. Can you still wear it? Is it still comfortable around your face or would it have kind of smashed in a part that makes it unwearable? Not sure how well you can hear me. The only difference I notice is that it is a little bit um, tight around the cheeks, so I can tell that it probably would have either hit my cheek 
or done some damage there potentially, but I don't think it would have broken anything necessarily. So pretty cool that that managed to stay on that well. We took apart the back plate and look what we found. Just all, every single bullet, so all the bullets that were shot are accounted for, they're all right here. They were all stopped within the material itself. And some of them fared pretty well, like this one hardly uh, deformed at all, so not too bad. But others did really poorly, did not hold up well, but the bulletproofing did exactly what it should have done, which is to just keep that thing in perfect shape um, and protect what's on the inside. And I, I even caught one here that's in the material itself, and you can see it's caught in the fibers of the layer here. So pretty fun to see. Now, if you want to see what the inside of this thing looks like, we're going to work with our friends over at the WaterJet channel. So we're going to cut our, this exact helmet in half, um, and we'll try to get it right through these bullets. And let's see what this looks like on the inside and how well it fared. Also, be sure to check out the making of video where I walk through all of the steps of printing, priming, building, assembling, how do you wear it, um, what things you need to watch out for, what lessons were learned along the way, all of that fun stuff. So be sure to check that out. Um, hit that bell down below if you want to subscribe and hit that bell. That'll get you notifications exactly when something comes out. And then be sure to check out the other videos on this screen. My name is Nils. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the next video.